currently running down the crater of an active volcano high up in Ecuador, 4,800 meters altitude brutal climb to get up there took me about two hours 45 if you want to see the journey go back and watch yesterday this is a new vlog and it's going to go straight into tomorrow it took me three hours up didn't really realize the time i've got one hour 45 to get back down to meet em and get the last teleferico if you miss it it's like a six hour walk back down into quito so i don't know what will be worse the walk or how fuming em will be at the bottom but big day ahead another gas right video hit the subscribe button it's an absolutely outrageously technical descent but a walk for this little bit and we're going to go to the equator check that out and basically just get some more ruthless scenery ruthless vibes in the old bones but yeah ecuador so far silly behavior we're doing daily vlogs it's just ridiculous scenes as i say hit that subscribe button still on route to 3k subs let's hopefully we'll make it baby one hour 45 on the way up one hour eight minutes on the way down vo2 oxygen in the lungs is absolutely limited ridiculous amount of blisters on every single toe and in every orifice chafing on the nipples i've been throwing up blood but when there's a will there is a way we will make the teleferico with plenty of time as i kind of want to say like in life you think things are difficult but your body has something in here when your mind's saying this is tough when it's saying to stop and you can't go any further you've got that little voice saying oh yeah go back go get in the warmth you need to absolutely fly it and tell the voice to absolutely go fuck itself so yeah quicker than half on the way down ridiculous scenery we'll be meeting up with the king very shortly looking forward to some water because i only took 500 mils with me and absolutely no food uber technical route ruthless scenery if it's your first time watching go back and watch yesterday and yeah some food in the system we're heading to the old equator very shortly maybe fuck me we've earned our beers this week Woo! welcome to the center of the earth mital de mundo we rested recuperated after absolute battle of a journey down the old volcano yesterday but we did make the teleferico unbelievable scenes unbelievable day so it's your first time watching go back and watch that absolutely brutal hike however today we're going to be exploring bang on the equator mital de mundo meaning city at the middle of the earth um bang on the equator i only found this out yesterday which is pretty useful info the word ecuador the country ecuador was named after the spanish word for equator because as it says in the tin mate it is right on the equator we got here at like quarter to nine it opens at nine and we're the absolute keynotes as you can see in the backdrop behind me there is absolutely nobody here um it's only five dollars to get in you do need your passport number you don't need your passport um i'm just going to be exploring today gaz what is the equator the imaginary line that runs around the center of the earth at zero latitude longitude latitude if i've got that wrong i'm like an absolute idiot now um there are only three countries that are exactly on and it runs through the whole of the equator i've been to two of them now obviously ecuador kenya i've not been to somalia so we might have to put that on the back burner might have to put that on the list for um another day but yeah pretty cool little spot anything to note we'll be back to check in and what does um equator mean in latin it means even maker so you know a little bit of intel a little bit of knowledge as always um i would say don't get here before nine we're here at like quarter two there's absolutely nobody here we got straight in um it's not a place where there's like loads and loads of cues and stuff like that um but i've seen some really cool stuff what they do with water here where it turns in a certain direction depending on if you're on the north or south side but yeah pretty mental another good little bit of intel actually for you is and and again i would love to live in a place like this um the days and nights because it's right on the equator it's not like when you live like in the northern hemisphere you where you have like seasons yeah i guess it's the same in any uh side of the old hemisphere but there's no like winter summer it's the exact same day length um no matter what time of year you come here so flare bit of i didn't know what the word is for that geology mythology who bloody knows at this point but yeah we're going to be exploring getting amongst it we've got the flare jpegs already any questions in the comments hit the subscribe button let's get cooking baby we're going straight in for the outro the wrap up the analysis because 
for me, this is one, it's the biggest tourist attraction in Ecuador. And I don't know why, because you know what you get in this channel, 100% honesty, it's the biggest tourist trap I've ever seen. We thought we we're gonna be here, all like really cool stuff about the equator, the magnets, the all about like the, the line, a bit about the geology, geography, all that sort of stuff. And I'd probably say that is 1% of the stuff here. It is generally just restaurants, souvenir shops, and just things that aren't, synonymous with the equator and kind of what it's built around um if that's what you're looking for i'm sure you'll enjoy it here um just people like where it's like people like waving you into restaurants and just just trying to sell you stuff all the time not my sort of vibe might be your vibe not for me um the little chocolate bit i thought was pretty cool to be fair went in there got a really strong sense of cocoa straight into the old uh into the old bones um i think that one is synonymous with the area they were saying that um, obviously, because of the conditions here um, in the Amazon region, um, it has the uh, Arabica coffee, which is Arabica coffee, Arabica chocolate, which is uh, obviously a world renowned and obviously very sought after. So I guess that is to do with where we are in the equator. But I think there should be just so much more um, yeah, to do with it. It is generally just souvenir shops. Um, the other thing as well is like, give somebody a map when you get in it's a pretty big place when you're walking around uh, but you just have no idea there's like a few things here and there uh, a few little maps so that you can go and look at but like they're only like a quarter of the park then you've got to work out how to uh how to get to the next one it is absolutely stifling obviously i'm rocking m's gingers and proud cap because it is extreme uav warning so not only are we not enjoying a wandering ride we're getting absolutely assaulted um yeah, by the old sun. Em, any thoughts, analysis? Happy weekend. <laughs> I was generally so excited for today. I was like, we're going to learn so much. They're like, yeah. Whereas we've come early. I mean, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's just that we're so early and it's not very busy. But at the same time, there is not, like, it's amazing that you can see, like, the equator. You're, like, on that line. Quite interesting. But apart from that, we've just travelled an hour to stand on a line. Um, it's only five dollars to get in, which is fair enough. If it was like twenty, I'd be fuming. Um, we don't have just sat in an hour to get here, so it's, yeah. yeah. What, what I mentioned there, I didn't even mention it, but like I, I'd even say like what eighty percent of the things are closed. Yeah. Like the, the yeah. thing, if you look online, like the planetary thing, yeah, yeah. shut, yeah. not open. Yeah. Um, the only things, that are, even like the coffee shop, like I went to get a coffee. This was like 9.45, so they'd been open like 45 minutes. And like they had to like turn, open the doors, turn the coffee machine on. Yeah. So if you are going to go well, for me, I wouldn't recommend coming here personally. Yeah, like it is cool. cool, to be fair. There's only three countries in the world, as I say, where you can go and stand on the equator. Yeah. Like that is flair. But if you're going to come here and think, oh, it's a half day thing. Like you see stuff on TikTok. Again, this is what you get with this channel. You get honesty. Sometimes uh, it backfires. Do you know what I mean? We're not trying to gun anyone down. I'm just trying to give you an honest insight into what this is like. The equator's is cool. The I rest of the stuff for me. Be open, just have in mind, if you want to come and just literally just stand on the equator, you're going to travel an hour to do so. And there's nothing else to do here once you get here <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. like we we watch loads of stuff online we we're trying to find like the water thing which i thought looks super super cool again because of the equator on one side the north side it goes clockwise and the south side it goes anti-clockwise or vice versa cool stuff like that i think is like would be the main selling point here um but all the stuff you see on tiktok and instagram absolutely gassing this place up not personally for me but it might be for you well, if you went it's not even here to but, open. Yeah, that was that wasn't open as well. So yeah, the cool water thing, the attraction, as, and the uh, the planetary bit not open. <laughs> rate ra not. rating out of ten. Do you know what? Either it's got to be a one or a two. It's got to be. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> You know it's bad. If the king is annoyed, like you know me, I'm always like probably a little bit more cynical. I'm a little bit more. I don't like this. If M say you know what I mean, not a fan. You know it is not a banger, but. It's cool to come and say you've done it, but for me, I will not be recommending it. As much as it was brutal yesterday doing the hiking, I'd rather be up there exploring, getting amongst it in the uh, in the wilderness. You prefer the hike, Em? 100%. <laughs> that, right, okay, there you go. That says it all because Em was not happy uh, on the hike up parts yesterday. But yeah, we're going to be exploring back into Quito city centre for a little bit of action. A few cocktails, we've got a food and drink tour in the old diary and then doing a little um, 24 hours in Quito. So if you are in the mixer, I would heavily advise checking those out. They'll be on the day after this and the day after that. So yeah, any questions thus far? Quito, Ecuador, travelling about this uh, little town here? Bang it in the comments whilst you're down there. Hit that subscribe button still on route to 3k subs see you tomorrow baby remember the chef he's always cooking let's get it <laughs>